Hey, howdy, hey, everybody. DTX720 here, and we are back with another episode of Pokemon Sword. What we're gonna do is, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna explore around this big old crazy city for a second. And I thought we'd start by going this way. We're gonna go into every single person's little house. We're gonna check this place out. We're gonna, we're gonna just, we're gonna goof around this episode. It's gonna be a goofy episode. Hello, little girl. Is there nothing much going on in here? Alright, I'm out of Hold on. What's that in your box? Garbage? Take out the trash, child. Your dad would be very disappointed in you. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in this house. Ah, oh, look at you cute old people. Everybody's bragging about the champion. And I'm ready to, like, shock the world. I'm ready to make everybody think that uh, this champion's a freaking pushover. You know what I'm saying? Well, I see that there's an item in there. So let's go for it, I guess. Let's go over there and... Hey, man. What's up? Do, 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 do. Any other items hiding in here? This looks like an item hiding place. A grassy seeds. Mm, lovely. Some lovely grassy seeds. Let's walk around here. Let's exit here. But let us enter through here. I feel like there's a secret. Hiding right here. No, no secret? Okay. Let's come in here. Let's look around over here. Ha! Look at this. A bomb mushroom, and there's also a thing hiding right here. I just seen. Wait, what? I could swear I seen a T in there. Well, it'd be nice. It's nice to have speedy Pokemon, little child. What are you doing? You teaching them? What? Learn an ultimate move. Ooh, Rillaboom, eh? What do you want to teach him? Frenzy plan, huh? Frenzy plant would be nice, but uh, I have wood hammer and I have drum beating. I'm not going to learn frenzy plant. He has a way better uh, attack stat than special attack stat. Otherwise, I would do that. Thanks anyway, old man. All right. Can I? Is there any way I'm allowed to go over there? I don't know. We're gonna hop on our bike and we're gonna go super quick, super quick fast. Through here. Talk to some peoples. I'm assuming most of these people aren't gonna have much going on here. Who are you talking to? Crazy old man. Okay, so I can't get to that side of this place over there. So I guess let's keep walking into strangers' houses. Starting with uh, this old man's house. Can I get off the bike, please? Thank you. Um, your greeting is eating the applin. Oh, I'm just gonna walk away. I don't want to see any more of that horror. There has to be something interesting in one of these houses. Hey, girl. All right. You look like a leopard would be perfect for you, lady, with that leopard looking jacket. Eh, never mind. It probably wouldn't be. Okay. See you later, man. Yeah. What's up, dude? Searching for a frostmoth, you wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Duraladon, eh? Not right now, man. I don't want. I I do have a frost moth, but I don't. I don't want to get rid of it for a Duraludon, bro. I do need a Duraludon, but if I get myself another, I will. I'll do that. What's up, guys? You chilling? You guys are cute. See you later. That dude, the audacity of him, trying to get my Duraludon. 
I mean my Frozmoth for his Drowdon. Photon Bike. To try to best my very own Rotom. Sure, I can beat your Rotom. No matter what form it takes. Rotom Mower, eh? Hmm. You are Rotom Mota. Do you have all three of the Rotoms? Will Whisper. Come on, man. Don't burn me. It's not cool, dude. Hatterene is going to hurt you, though, because you wasted your turn on Will Wisp. Hatterene is very powerful. But she is very slow. I tried to, in between episodes, I trained her up a little bit, and, uh... I wanted to focus on getting her speed up a little bit there. You're still gonna die, even though you light screen, because <laughs> you're at very low HP, bro. Okay, the mower is down. And what are you gonna bring out now? The oven or the washing machine? Or maybe the fan? Leftovers! Back to normal health! I didn't see which one it was, but we're gonna keep Hatterene in anyway. Oh, it says Rotom. Nah, it's the washing machine. Hello, Rotom Wash. I'm gonna give you a dazzling gleam. You're gonna do Will O Wisp too, huh? Even though I brushed it off with the power of love, you're gonna you're gonna give it to me again. Dazzling Gleam did about as much as Psychic. A little more, a little less. Not too bad. Hex now, huh? That might hurt a bit. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. The psychic will kill you. Goodbye. Now the next Rotom might also know Hex. So, we're going to switch out of this one. But I was burned. This time we're gonna switch. Oh well, actually, no, we're staying in because I accidentally hit stay. <laughs> accidentally hit that we're staying in. So let's just use Dark Pulse because I'm gonna die anyway to a hex. There I go. Aha! You lived. But what does it matter? Okay, but is the burn gonna kill me? Ooh. All right, let's do this. Let's get in the bag. Nah, it's actually it'd actually just be better to switch out. Go into Treadnaw. and give that good old liquidation. We're gonna we're gonna throw some water on your oven, bro. It's kind of like a. You ever see what happens when you put a, a toaster in the bathtub? Yeah. It's gonna fry you up, man. It's gonna fry up your Rotom when I liquidize it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Man, I'm suffering from a bad case of indigestion and heartburn, man, from those SpaghettiOs I ate not that long ago. I have a thing for SpaghettiOs, and it was a can of Super Mario Bros. themed SpaghettiOs. There was like little flowers and mushrooms in there. It was pretty good. Rotom catalog. The catalog of devices that Rotom, Rotom like. Use this catalog to have Rotom hop in and out of various devices within. within. Really? It's amazing, that's how you change Rotom into his different forms in this game. That's cool. Use a catalog? It's amazing. Well, we're gonna have to run to the Pokemon Center. But in the meantime, let's uh, move you. Put Toxtricity in the front. 
Did I go in this house? I feel like I did. I forgot. Yes, I did. I fought you already. Alright. Let's go in here. Huh? Hello, Joe. What are you doing out there? You need to get your Hallucci down from there, boy. Can you get, can you get down? <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Um... Turn to this Pokemon Center over here real quick. What do you have right there? It's a Growlithe! Look, it's my best friend! Bork. <laughs> Bork. Exactly what I'd expect to get this day. Nice old Bork. Oh, hey, man. Nah, I don't need to go anywhere. Let's heal up. Let's talk to these people first. What's going on? What are you people doing? That much? Sup, cop? Okay. Heal it up. Let's heal it up. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Elevator. Wait, I'm confused. You're telling me this elevator does the same thing this bird does? Would you like to go? Yeah. What the hell's the point? Where does this take me? The hell is this a city elevator or something? What is this? It's like Futurama. It's like a tube you can take. Well, I don't know where I am now, but we're here, guys. Let's go back. Just because I need to explore. I think Monorail Stadium is where we just were. Because it said stadium. It's weird that there's a taxi, like, they, they both... Whoa, this is not the stadium. What the... Take me back! <laughs> I don't know where I am! Ah! Panic! Oh, that's where that is. Okay. Wait, so we were just over here. <laughs> We went everywhere over here. Okay, now we're we're gonna go this way. Okay, we're gonna go this way now. All right, what's going on over here? Ooh, how pretty! Look at this. Wow, this little back way. Oh, look at it. Okay, a blob of black sludge. An item held by a Pokemon. It currently restores HP to poison type Pokemon. Damages. Damages and other type. Oh well, I should. Um, I'm actually gonna give. Um, I'm gonna take away the leftovers. Thanks for the Rotom catalog, by the way. I'm gonna give Toxtricity the Black Sludge. Because he's a poison type. Can I give anybody else leftovers instead? I don't think so. We'll think about it. Okay, so there's a barber shop there. There's a lady looking. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. I'd sign you. I would sign an autograph, but there's a clothing store here. There's a restaurant there. Ooh, billboards and such. Did you guys lose your children? What are you looking for? Hey. She's dropping on what this lady's talking about. Okay, well. That was that. Let's see, is there, there is something hiding over here. 
All right. Well, I guess let me take a second to what's coming here. Wait a second. Hold on a second. I can't fit, fit my body between there. Let's go inside here on this station. What's going on? What do you do? What are you what are you selling? You're selling What's the point of your shop, dude? I can buy these from the Pokemon. Okay. I can buy those from the freaking Pokemon. I mean, not the Pokemart, the, uh... Psh, what's it called? I can't remember. Poke Pokemon Center. Gosh, that's what it was. What the hell? Bleh. They, like, literally blanked my mind. I was like, what is a Pokemon? What is a center? What does a thing do? What does this enter? Hey man, you're very lonely. What's going on? What's going on here with you? What you got going on? Nothing much? Alright. And that's it. Alright. Well, so much for that. That was lovely. I'm gonna move on. Well, so we went all down down that way. Is there any other way we can go? I want to double check over here real quick. I'm sorry. Apologies. Yeah, okay. We can't go over there. It's just like an illusion. We can just pretend to go over there. <laughs> all right. Alright guys, well, I don't I don't want to waste your time too much. We explored a little bit. I don't want to waste your time a little too much. So I'm going to cut it right here. And I'm going to join back with you when I find out where I'm supposed to be. Hotel is just pointless. Okay.
Alrighty guys, I'm back. Sorry about the little holdup. I uh, I didn't want to keep wasting your guys' time too much by just doing a whole episode of exploring that. So, look, we're here. We, we've done it. We, uh, we're inside of this place. Let's talk to the ball guy. Ball guy, give me something. A dream ball. Lovely. Thank you for the dream ball, Pokemon. Marnie, hello. Marnie, I'm gonna beat you, man. What's up, Pop? Okay. DTX, correct your performance in the gym challenge. Let me check your badges. Yeah, I know. Get. Come on. So, what's going on? You got disqualified or what? Attention gym challengers who have made it to the gym challenge. Semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. Okay, well. Appreciate you giving me an atmosphere here. Can I punch this? Oh, come on. You won't even let me interact with it. Oh. What's up, man? Let's make sure we have our Pokemon all healed up and ready. We do. Let's do it. Let's just let's just go. Semi-finals is what they said. This is going into the semi-finals. Who do we battle in the semi-finals? Do we battle Hop or Marnie or both? I believe. Oh, look, it's Marnie. <laughs> Look how cute Marnie is in her outfit. <clears throat> Marnie, are you ready for the final battle? If this is our final battle. Oh, yeah. Let's do this, Marnie. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Marnie. Pokemon Trainer Marnie sends out Leopard. Well, Marnie, I think we're I think we're actually kind of prepared for you this time. We have uh, we've seen almost all of your Pokemon, although I do believe you have one more that we weren't expecting. But we're gonna give your Leopard a little boom burst. Go ahead and nasty plot your way through this, Marnie. I don't think you'll even survive a boom burst, and if you do, I will be amazed. Punk rock boom burst. Death. Thank you, Toxtricity. Good job, boyo. Scrafty, eh? Hmm. Go ahead and Hatterene. Hatterene, I think. Scrafty might hit us with something that will hurt, a dark type move. But I think Hatterene might be able to take it. I think she can take it. No effect. This is a terrible idea going into Hatterene then. Why does it have no effect? He's a fighting type. Psychic moves have no effect on dark types. That's the real question. Oof. There we go. Scrappy's dead anyway. Either way, he was dead from the beginning. I guess psychic moves must not have an effect against a dark type, huh? Toxic Croak. Toxic Croak really hurt Had her NA last time. So we're not gonna stay in this time. Toxic Croak, however, will get very hurt by Corviknight. Due to Bit being a fighting type. And technically Had Rene should be able to take on Toxic Croak, but uh, since Toxic Croak is a poison type, it would really hurt um it would really hurt me. 
It would hurt my fairy typing as well as my psychic typing, I believe. I believe poison is strong against fairy, but I could be wrong because every time I'm put on the spot, man, it, I get confused. Brave bird. Thank you for avoiding that attack also. Boom. I'm dead. Damn, Marnie. I'm sorry I'm like making your team look like crap. But yet again, I am like 10 levels higher than you. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Or Pekko. I'm gonna switch out, because more Pekko might hurt me a little bit. Hmm. Who will hurt more Pekko? Santa Scorch will hurt more Pekko. Even though more Pekko could also hurt me. Could go 50 50 because Electric is strong against Bug. But Bug is also strong against Dark. It's literally a good coin flip. It all just depends on how strong her moves are. There we go. Who's this super effective? Use Torrent, eh? That, that probably wasn't a good idea there, Marnie. Bug might might kill. It killed. There we go. We got lucky. Marnie, your strategy hasn't really been that great this this match, I'm not gonna lie. Grim Snarl, eh? Grim Snarl is a dark fairy type. What would be the strategy here? Question is, is fairy weak to poison? Hmm. Is it weak to poison? I think it's weak to poison. So do we go to Toxtricity or do we go or we stay in Resent Scorch? What do we do? You know what? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna go and talk Tracy because I, I'm pretty sure poison kills fairy. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. I have to be right about that. You know, if I'm not, then we'll pay for it, but. I'm pretty sure she's gonna Gigantamax this Grim Snarl. Who you got there, Marnie? You gonna you gonna Gigantamax this big ol' this monster? Cause if you don't, I'm I'm Gigantamaxing mine. So you better you better do it, Marnie. Go Toxtricity. Electrify. Play your guitar. Do it, super guitar. Yeah, baby. Rock on. Hell yes. Ooh. Do it, Marnie. Whoa. Ooh, he's lanky and he is scary. Ooh, he he's scary. Look how tall he is. Oh man, look at him. Max ooze though. Ooh, he survived an ooze. Does he have anything to counter my poison typing though? Ooh. It didn't do much though. Didn't do much. It actually healed me. Look at that. Oh, it's because of my black sledge. You're gonna get another Max Ooze and you're dead. Sorry, Marnie, but you weren't ready for this fight. I was. I'm ready to be the champion. I don't think you hunger for it as much as me, Marnie. Don't think you hunger for it as much as I do. Thank you, Tuck Shizzy. 
Yeah, play that guitar. Oh, Marnie, don't be disappointed. You have great Pokemon, Marnie. It's interesting. Uh, actually, over the years, I've actually become a uh, a little bit more sad. Except in this game, I I've, I actually kind of feel sad for like Marnie and Bead and and Hop because I've done this so many times, becoming the champion, you know, in Pokemon games. And Marnie's a really great character, so um, as well as Hop. But Marnie has really had a great development. My team is fire. Are you ready, man? I'm ready. Can we get healed up? Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match is expected. Okay. Hop won't quite handle these pitch. Okay, well, did they heal up our Pokemon? They did. Okay. Well... Let's, uh, let's get right into it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Hatterene in the front. And I know sometimes that's not a good idea, but we're going to do that for Hop. And we're going to we're going to get into it. We're going to we're going to fight Hop 2 in this episode. We're going to get to it. Come on, Hop. I'm ready for you. Let's get our final battle. And look, I'm about to It's crazy cuz I just broke Marnie's heart because I beat her, and it was kind of sad. I actually really feel bad. And now I'm about to break his. I'm about to break his heart and, like, kill his dream right now. Because he he wants to fight and possibly beat his brother to become the greatest, like he's been saying this entire game. And just like in the rest of this game, he's going to come up short. Ooh, yes. You're challenged by Jim... You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Not Gym Leader. <laughs> yeah, we'll say Gym Leader. Yes, Hop, let's bring it. Give me all you got. No, we're not using it yet. I know, we battled back in the garden. It's very poetic. I can't wait to destroy you. We're going to set up a calm mind because I don't think double will hurt me. And he did cotton guard too, so it was cool that I did that. Nice. He raises defense, and I am raising my special attack. And my special defense. Okay, so one calm mind. You know what, I'm going to be cocky, I'm going to do another. Okay. Good thing that I was cocky. Because we're going to use Hatterene to possibly sweep his team that I, since I did that. I raised my stats pretty good right there. Ooh, and my leftovers. That was good. I think I made a good call there. No, I think I made a really good call coming in Hatterene with this battle in double. As long as he doesn't get a crit and kills me. Ooh, that did some damage. Psychic should kill now. Yes. Dabool has fainted. Slowly we're going to see Hop getting more sad and sadder. Sad and then more sad and then even more sad. Pincurchin. Pincurchin is an electric type. We're going to stay in. Just depends if we're faster than Pincurchin. He doesn't look that fast. But he also could be fast. Can you use Psychic on it? Okay, we were faster. I was right. Sometimes you can judge a book by its cover. Goodbye, Pink Curtain. You were useless. Sorry, Hop, but you brought that useless, spiky thing with you. I hope you regret your decision. <laughs> Whew. Corviknight. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. But we're gonna risk it. Mm, we're gonna risk it. No, no, we shouldn't risk it. I think I think Steel is strong against Fairy. Yeah, we shouldn't risk it. Okay, 
Yeah, Steel is definitely weak. I mean, not weak. It's strong against Fairy, so we're going to get out of here now. Now would be the time. And we're going to go into Toxtricity. Toxtricity is going to overdrive and destroy your Corviknight. With its punk rock guitar and riffs, it's going to tear you apart. Play some Nirvana for me. That's grunge, but you know what I mean. Play us some, uh, it's a good punk rock band. What, like Green Day or something? I don't know, but you're dead. <laughs> you got fried. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Hop. Like, literally, Hop has done nothing to me. He hurt had a Rene a little bit. That's pretty much it. Snorlax, huh? I'm gonna actually switch out. I'm gonna go into Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom knows Brick Break. Brick Break will hurt Snorlax. A little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. And I'm also preparing for your, uh, your starter to come out here. So his last Pokemon is gonna be a starter. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get cocky. I'm gonna Gigantamax right now and kill Snorlax with a Brick Break. Hopefully it works out that way. Hopefully Snorlax isn't that tanky. He might be, because Snorlax is a tank. He is a chubby boy. But I'm looking to Gigantamax him now. Hit a big old Brick Break on Snorlax and destroy him. And then when Intellion comes out, hit him with a big old drum beating. Ooh, he did live. Shite. You know what? This was not a good idea. Aha. Damn it. Oh, he full healed. He full restored anyway, so maybe, maybe it was smart that I did this. Hopefully it'll kill this time. Just kill it this time. Don't let Snorlax live. Yes, thank you. Okay, hurry up and send out Inteleon and Gigantamax it so that I can kill it. In one turn. Please. Yes. Yes. Inteleon, there he is. Keep in the current Pokemon. Send him out, Hop. Inteleon! There's James Pond! Send out James Pond. I'm not gonna Gigantamax James Pond. Yeah, I was gonna say, you better. You better Dynamax. You better Dynamax James Pond. <laughs> that little eyebrow flare he did. James Pond! Oh look, it's huge James Pond. He was undercover the whole time. He was pretending to be a crying baby the entire time. Ooh, he's faster than me. Hailstorm! Oh, no. That actually hurted. But I lived. How's that? You know what? That was nice. But you're about to die. How's this one? <laughs> he got all cocky, and then I, I almost, I, I let him have his hopes and dreams for like a tad of a second, and then I tore him back down. I let him build his house for a minute, and then I tore it back down with a big old wrecking ball. Oh, that was our best battle yet. Well, kinda. Almost every one of our battles have been pretty lopsided, and we pretty much conquered all of them. Oh yeah, look how man heartbroken and just angry. Thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. <laughs> you can tell he got immediately sad. And the semifinal, the victor of the semifinals in the way of the gym challenge is Challenger DTA. <laughs> Get on you, DTX and Hadrene and all the rest of your team. Well, 
Looks like I'm going on to the finals. Oof. Hell yeah. Are you ready for me, Leon? I'm ready for you. My team is the greatest team that has ever existed. And you might believe that yours is, but I will destroy you. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give you everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger. And the challenger starting, standing before us might well end up being you, DTX. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. What do you mean what I'm hoping for? I thought I was just, I just wanted to send my finals. Who do I have to beat in, in the final? Do I have to beat you in the finals? What's going on here? This hotel. Gonna check on in. Hello, Challenger DTX. Hey, can we have a couple questions? First question. Something, something, something. Rival. What'd you say? How you feeling about your rival? Question number two. Sure, yeah, we'll choose this one. Question number three. Help me get out the finals. Absolutely. All right, all right. Kick, hit the bricks. We don't want to talk to the press. I like how Hop was helping me with the press there. Thank you, Hop. Whew. Yeah. Several hours later. <laughs> Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He doesn't always do this. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. <laughs> Kid, Kid's sure got a mouth on him, huh? Phone, why are you talking? Don't talk. <laughs> That was my phone, sorry. Ah, oh, Piers. Yes. Uh huh. No wonders you lost your mate. Looking for the champion, I saw him heading toward Rose Tower. Well, we should barely. We should probably go catch up with him, shouldn't we? We should go figure out where the hell he is. Why the hell are you late? What rude sibling is always so demanding of each other? I suppose. <laughs> He's like, cannot be bothered. Whoa. Alright, man. Brilliant. <laughs> Alright, take us along with you. Alrighty, guys. With all of that out of the way, beat the semifinals of our gym challenge, and that will be the end of our episode. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, hit that like and the subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section for me down below. I really appreciate it. Talk to me. Talk to me, people. Talk to me. I love you, 3000. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great night.